Hi guys, this is Amir. So today we're making this video today about of testing this battery backup on this Chamberlain B970 belt drive DC motor garage door opener. I'm gonna unplug this motor and then you're gonna see the light come out and then the wall control right there is gonna show battery power. And you can see in the wall control, it says it's running on battery. When I hit the button, the opener is going to have an audible beep and the garage door is going to run slow because it's running on 12 volt DC with the battery that has a DC brushless motor. But this cord uses 120 as compared to an AC motor that doesn't take a battery backup. So I'm going to run the garage door. You can tell it just runs slow because it's conserving the energy to the battery. So because it is 12 volt because it's using the electricity for the motor itself, but not the light bulbs because the light bulb needs 120 volt. So it could run those light bulbs off, even the motor being in the constant speed. But unfortunately that this motor is running on DC power and it's a DC brushless motor. So it's using the battery as for the safety eyes because the safety eyes are working down here. As you can see a green indicator light indicates that your safety eyes are working in case if you have an obstruction in the middle of using the battery backup machine if you lose electricity or having a circuit breaker that failed in your house even this is what you get if you came and home and you experiencing a power outage then your opener will still work instead of pulling this red release rope to using the door by manually but you don't need to you have a battery backup machine that says battery backup because it uses a 12 volt dc battery that uses the electricity for a motor to run slowly because it is efficient so the battery can last up to 24 hours because there's a voltage regulator in there that monitors how much battery is it for this control panel to show the battery status of this garage door motor. So I'm gonna run it back down And then we're gonna plug back in the garage door motor. And then the light comes back on and that's constant power as being 120 volt AC. As using it on a DC motor, even the battery inside will actually use the 120 volt to charging the battery with the voltage regular inside that monitors for the computer system module to tell for the battery to switching the electronic relay for the 12 volt battery to be charged with the 120 volt. But the battery does not stay on all the time. It turns off whenever there's 120 volt constant power to the machine, even the battery when it's fully charged, it turns off. Every time if the power is lost, then your opener will still work instead of having to pull this red release stroke to using the door by manually. But that's gonna really require using it by manually if your door is out of balance or if your door opener malfunctions, you should use it in case of a real emergency. If your motor battery had failed, it could get you an audible beep alert tells your battery needs to be replaced. If your motor has power and tells that the battery should be replaced because the battery gonna have to be replaced if, if it gets reached to one year as how long the battery could last on your machine. And you can see the wall control showing the battery status. So it's going to charge for the 120 volt electric DC motor garage opener for it to be in the proper charge because it's going to charge the motor as the voltage regulator in the machine is going to read the charge to telling this wall control to show the status of the battery and even you can still run it if your power is restored it's going to charge the battery about 24 hours and then your opener is going to work in normal operation every time you're using it unfortunately this 120 volt motor is charging the 12 volt dc battery which there's a voltage regulator on the circuit board that tells for the computer relay system to change as for the charging the battery. So the computer system tells for the battery to charge if there's 120 volt flowing to it. And even earlier when you saw when I disconnect the opener, the lights do not come on because they need 120 volts 
to have enough energy for the motor to run even the lights because they it doesn't run with no lights on because it's ac with the 120 volt light bulbs that takes the wattage it will pull so much electricity out of the battery cause the battery to go low and that's what's going to make your opener stop working but this opener battery will last about 24 hours if even that you lost power or even if your circuit breaker got tripped you should check your circuit breaker because that's an indicator that your battery's running on electricity with the motor but not the lights itself but you'll get alert on your wall control telling your battery it's it's running on battery power even dc runs the power to the computer system and tells the safety eyes down there to be on all the time and in case if there's a real obstruction on this door for this garage opener to go back up and no lights flashing because unfortunately what a 12 volt dc motor fortunately does not run off with these light bulbs fortunately this is what it shows as having 120 volt flowing to the electric motor fortunately when you lose power your opener will still work so i'm going to run it with the power on to this garage opener And this 120 volt garage opener Chamberlain B970 has a battery backup. That is why they have DC motors that is actually durable to lift a uh, double white door. Even they make one that's three quarter horse that's powerful for a heavy door that's insulated, but this is an uninsulated door 16 wide by seven foot. So this is actually balanced properly with the professionals when they fix the door. And we just got the new opener changed out. And even this is 120 volt plug that powers up this machine tells it to be functionable every time that there's power flowing to the machine even the machine will still work but the battery is going to be charged by a voltage regulator that actually monitors the how much voltage this battery is taking even the battery is fully charged it's not going to overcharge it's going to turn off the battery so at all the time the battery is not going to stay on because unfortunately it's going to drain it if your power is out your motor is going to run on battery power and tells the battery to come on compared to your house fire alarms that have 9 volt batteries but this one's 12 volt dc battery that runs on electricity with 120 volt charging the battery even there's a voltage regulator on the circuit board to reading how much voltage this battery is taking and even monitors the the battery level on the display panel and if it's fully charged fortunately you're going to see the green light tells that the battery's fully charged and it tells it's working so if you see a red light that's on that tells the battery is it's low and even tells that it's gonna get you an audible beep, tells you have a bad battery if you fortunately have a 120 volt motor that had failed on a battery. But this new, this is a new machine, I just got replaced. Even the door just broke because we had a heavy door that the springs had failed. But it's not really balancing because it is heavy. Okay, so this is the even the door motor just broke on the old motors. So I just had replaced the motor to a newer belt drive because this one's really quiet and even it's DC as compared to AC motors that makes so much of that vibration. So let's run back down. If this video was helpful, if it did, Hit the like button, I'll really appreciate it. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified too. So you will never miss a video that we upload in this repair channel. And have a great day, stay safe, bye.